Welcome back, everybody. I loaded in uh, on top of that thing because I had a break and I had to close the game down. So hopefully it's saved. Let me think. Where was I? Did I do this one? I didn't. Okay. Sunshot. Okay, let's just do it. Leaning monument of Gaza. I, I, I don't know. Uh, what's going on with that one? Also, that one is also tilted. Isn't that weird? Sunshot. Is there going to be a thing on the sun? I wonder. Okay, let's see here. So I think I have to get this box on the other side. You know what? Let's put both on the other side. And yeah, that that's about it. Let's go. Okay. Same thing. Alrighty. Oh, but I... Shit. I needed one box to get over there myself. Dang it. Do I need to reset here, or... I think I do. I can't make a quick jump, right? Hey! No. Let's see. Nah, no, that's not gonna work. Let's reset it. Okay. I feel like it's way easier to mess up these... Uh, trials here nowadays than in the beginning of the game. In the beginning, you couldn't really mess uh, too many things up. Okay, these both go on the other side. Because I can climb. And now, we fly that one across, and then we fly ourselves across. Yo-ho! Beautiful. And there it is. Yoink! Is there something about the sun? Sunshot. I think there's something about these pillars there. The monuments. Something's going on with them. Why are they tilted like that? Wait. There's something there. Right there in the center. You see that? There's like a little door or something. Hmm. What could I do with those, I wonder? Alright. Whatever. Let's head back. Invisible walls, maybe? This looks a little bit suspicious to me. No. Okay. We are off. Man, I am fucking rapid-firing these puzzles here. And when I say puzzles, I actually just mean one puzzle. Man, I like how this looks. This scene right here reminds me of The Mummy. You know the one scene where the battle happens? They're sitting there with their rifles, waiting. There's just something about this place. That makes me think of Brendan Fraser. With a rifle. <laughs> oh! A computer! What do we got? Body and soul. But it is commonly supposed that the Egyptians believed the soul to live as long as the body continued undissolved and therefore tried this method of eluding death. Could the wise Egyptians, said Nikaya, think so grossly of the soul? If the soul could once survive its separation, what could it afterwards receive or suffer from the body? The Egyptians would doubtless think erroneously, said the astronomer, in the darkness of heathenism and the first dawn of philosophy. The nature of the soul is still disputed amidst all our opportunities of clearer knowledge. Some yet say that it may be material, who nevertheless believe it to be immortal. Huh.
Okay. That's what they did, right? The Egyptians. They they were embalming the kings and put and putting them in the tombs. Because they believed that if they could preserve the body for longer, the soul could also live on longer or something like that, right? Soma. From Sun Wei Yang to Arkady Chernyshevsky. Names. Names are a funny thing. I remember how much we struggled to come up with a name for our project. All serious scientists name their projects by just translating them to Greek or Latin, right? Corpus made me think of some horrible disease. So we used the Greek word instead. Soma. Quite appropriate. Oh, I didn't know Soma meant uh, corpus. Doesn't corpus just mean body? But then, since we needed corporate funding, we had to come up with a backronym. <laughs> a backronym? Corporations love backronyms, you know? They even sent us a list of buzzword-heavy suggestions to help us get started. Stuff like... Self-sufficient, orthostatic, modular, android, sustainable, observant, mechanized, anthropoid. Skuomorphic? Omni-adaptable, mobile, anthropopedon. Okay. So, what does that mean? Soma. Soma. Oh, I, oh, I see there's three of them. Okay, I thought it was all one big thing. So, Soma. Soma, Soma. After a while, we got so frustrated that we started getting silly. Sabertooth, overexcited murder android. Sentient, orthopedic monkey automaton. Strange, Olga's menacing assassobot. I don't think that's a word. You silly goose. Superb octopod marinades aplings. Satisfying overcooked mint alligator. That doesn't even make any sense. Stinky ornithological mule allocator. Shrank oof minky ack. Stupid obscure meaningless acronym. <laughs> In the end, we all ended up hating the name Soma just because we had so many fights about it with the sponsors. So when Alexandra told that story about the Talos principle, I guess the name caught on. I don't know whether it really fits, but I kind of like it. So wait, the simulation that I'm in is actually called Talos. I guess that makes sense, right? The Talos principle is this whole idea of... Uh, a robot gaining sentience, right? How can you separate or distinguish a living human being from a robot? Okay, did I do everything? There's no way. No, this one. Here we go. It's a red one. Let's take a good look around. So we don't miss anything. Well, d Jesus. That wasn't part of the world. That was my screen. Glitching. Eagle's nest. Eagle's Nest? Isn't that the name of the... house... where Hitler would reside? Okay. Wait, there's something going on over there as well. Okay, so I can, uh... Hold on, what can I do? I have one box here, and I have one box there. And can I climb back in? I can. Okay, so you know what? Let me do this. Probably I need it. Never mind! Oh! Hold on, I think I know what to do already. Uh, Nate. Never mind, actually. I don't. I had a great idea just now, but I don't think it'll work. Hmm. What happens if I jump? I just fly across, right? Yeah. But I can just walk in here. That's not a big deal. Okay.
All right. Can I get a box in here somehow? Is there anything else over here? There's a little platform there. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have to block the red one? Or sorry, the blue laser in the air. Somehow. Yeah, that sort of works, but I need to get back in real quick. I don't think I have time. Let me try again. Go. Oh, I'm too slow. Yeah, there's no way that happens. Ah, dang it. Okay. How can I do this? This is, like, really difficult. It's one of these puzzles that seem super simple. Because there's not a lot of stuff to do. But it just seems impossible. Is there something with these palm trees here? It's located right in the middle, conspicuously, so... Oh, wait, I know what to do. I'm so dumb. I just drop it like... Oh, my God. I can just drop it in the air. I didn't think about that. Yoink. And then I go in. And then I can probably do something. I can block it here. Or maybe... Let me stack these. Nope. Wait, how do I... Can I not block it like that? Hmm. Am I blocking? Nope, not quite. Almost. I don't think this is the way it's supposed to be done. Okay. What can I do? Oh man, I need to think a lot here. These puzzles are getting super difficult. Let's see here. So it's obviously a timed puzzle. I need to get in here while the thing is recharging. So what I need to do is break the connection. Where can I break the connection? I could do it while flying through the air and dropping the box while I was next to the laser. Doesn't seem like there's another way of doing it. Where else can I block the laser? Is there anything I can do on this side to block the laser? It's too tall to stand on a box and block it. Can I somehow get up there and do anything to this connector? I don't think so. Hold on. Uh, let me reset real, real fast here so I can get one box back. Wait, hold on. There were two things being activated right now. I heard it here and I heard something over here. You heard the grzzt, grzzt right after it? That's weird.
Ah! Okay, I understand now. I understand. Um, first, drop it here. And then... Oh, wait a minute. How do I... Oh shit, hold on. So I can block it by putting this here. It's, it's there's a little bit of a de of a delay. How can I use that to my advantage? Let's just try. Oh yeah, I don't block it. It's only the box. Gotcha. I need to reset then. So here's what I'm thinking. I need to be inside of this enclosure. At the time when the box flies. How can I do that? Hmm. Hurry! Nah, that's not happening. I'm too slow. God damn. Let's see here. How do I get to be inside of here when the box flies? That is the question, isn't it? Maybe I sent two boxes flying? Why would I do that? I send one box across, it blocks. It starts to recharge. And while it is recharging, I'm still on this side. So what could I realistically do in a timely fashion? I can't think of anything. So when I restart the puzzle, I can hear another thing opening over here. Some other laser. Is there a hidden wall? Nah. Hmm. See, why are there these two stairs here on each side? That's very conspicuous. Almost like you need to utilize it somehow. I just can't see what it would be. Now, is there a way for me to actually... My child, there is no shame in seeking another path. Leave this mystery for another day. Elohim? Don't ever tell me that again, you piece of shit. I will stay here forever. If that's what it takes. Okay? Now you've made me want to stay even more. In fact, I just had a great idea while you were speaking. I didn't even pay attention. Because you don't matter at all to me. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fucking do this. I'm gonna... Do this. Jump up here. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. There's something about this. What if I... Uh-oh. Oh, I can't get up there now. What happens if I do this? They just both fly across. That makes sense, I guess. Elohim, I will stay in here for as long as I want. And it may be painful for you to look at me, Elohim, but... This is just how it's gonna be. I am a stubborn man. I will figure it out. Given enough time. I think there's something about me 
doing this. The thing I was thinking, if if I can I jump off in the air? I can't. It's like the box is being angled as well, so it's super hard to get away from it. Uh Ah shit. Oh, wait a minute. Can I utilize this somehow to my advantage? Can I jump up? I can't. Oh wait, th this doesn't work, of course. Eh. Shit, I cannot get off the box while it's in the air. The thing I was trying to do was trying to jump off in the center, just that I could run through while this box blocks this laser on this side. But alas... What if I use one box to... Can I climb across here or some stupid stuff like that? No way, right? Oh, man. What the heck? Box flies across, blocks this laser. How can I be inside of here while that happens? That is the whole question right now. Either that, or I find a way to permanently block the laser. I, don't, I just don't see how that's gonna happen. So hold on. This thing was called Sunshot, right? No, no, Eagle's Nest. Eagle's Nest. Something to do with the palm tree? Wait a sec. Can I... Can I drop a box on the palm tree? There's no nests of eagles up there. Hmm. Is there anything on the palm tree? I don't see anything. I'm getting the feeling that... Elohim telling me this maybe means that I cannot actually solve it as it is. Maybe I need to do something from another trial. Because check this out. I reset. Listen now. Something activated over here. Isn't that curious? Oh, man. Okay, let me quickly check out this puzzle over here. I want to see what that is all about. I think I already did this one. Yeah, yeah I did this one. Wait. Oh, I did that one. What was being activated here? Huh. Wait a second. Something's going on. Maybe from in here? Called Eagle's Nest. I need to see what, what's on the other side here. What the hell is being activated? Let me see it from the air.
Okay, I didn't see anything there. What about this side over there? Nothing. There's a little... something there. Look at it. What's going on over there? Fuck. I don't know what to do. I am completely stumped on this one. Invisible walls or something? So it's called Eagle's Nest for a reason. It's not coincidental. Something up top. Eagles usually lay their nests way up high, right? Is there anything in here, maybe? I think Eagle's Nest suggests that I should be looking up. Do I see anything? What do I see on the other side here while I fly across? Not much. Fucking hell. I wonder if I can somehow delay the firing of this such that I can get into position before it hits the laser. Let me go in here again. I must have missed something. Man, it's taunting me. It's right there. God damn. Eagle's Nest. Is there anything in this palm tree? I'm not seeing anything. What if I shoot two boxes staggered? I mean, it wouldn't do much, I guess. It's just gonna... So, let's see. Yeah. It blocks the connection for a split second, which gives me a little bit of time. Do I really not... Hold on. Wait, why did that not block just now? Come on. No, there's no way. What if I just jump like this? Ah, no. That's not working. Fuck. Eh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. land right here. Let me see if there's any other puzzles. Or secrets. I think if there's anything, it should be over here on this side. Because I hear this other thing activating. It's very, very mysterious. Something is being charged. Could it simply be this one? So that when I reset, it's actually... Hold on, let me test in here. Do I hear it twice? Maybe. It's hard to say. I do wonder... Hmm. Any secrets here?
I mean, if anything, it needed to be in here. The secret. Hold on. Let me go in here again. This was the Easter egg. So when I run through this... I appear... I appear right here. Not that it matters, I guess. God damn it, man. Nothing is being activated in here. Where's the sound coming from? That's right. There was a star here. I forgot about that star, actually. And I need a red laser for that. Do we see any place I could grab from? Actually, I see one over there. Okay, hold on. Let me just see if I can take care of this star first. My Google Assistant is just activated on my phone. I must have said something that sounded like Google. Okay. So I cannot actually do anything special here. Let me just see if I can grab the red. Somehow. So I need the connector. Where is it? Let's see here. Actually... I need to elevate myself somehow. Wait a minute. Ah, hold on. Nope. Here? Shoot that across. And then... I jump up here. I grab that one. I attach here. Ooh, almost. This is definitely possible. It needs to be. There. And let me jump up. There. No, this is this is still being blocked. Look. Okay. So maybe it needs to be a little bit higher. Is that possible? Or maybe through this gate. Let's see here. Uh, nope, not quite. There. There. Nah, this is, this is not... It's going through the wall. Shit. Hmm. I don't see any other places where I could grab a red laser. Let me quickly do this first. So that activates this one. Can I somehow use that to my advantage? I'm not sure. What if I just put it all the way in the back here? I don't think it's going to be enough. Hmm. Also, I'm just realizing this is not a source. This is actually a... It's the, it's the wrong one. I need and I actually need this one right there. If anything. Which is lucky because it is a little bit higher, I guess. Maybe this is the right spot? And then I open like this. Oh my god. That is a sweet spot. Holy shit. Okay. That's some progress at least. I was afraid I was gonna finish this session here without any progress at all. That would be terrifying. But we have this bastard left. Oh 
Hold on, what's going on there? Maybe nothing. Dude, this puzzle right here is really kicking my ass. It's wild how lost I am. I cannot even begin to understand how I should do this. It's called... Is there anything... Hold on. No? Fuck. Hmm. Okay, dumb question, but... If I do two of these, is it gonna break for longer? No, right? It's the same amount. Yeah. I think I have, like, three seconds. That's all I get. So if I can find a way to fly across and get... ...stopped in midair so I fall down, maybe? So I can quickly run in. That would be the way to do it. But I have no control over my character when I'm in the air. I'm just flying, you know? Nope. Okay, so now there's a box in here. How can I use this to my advantage that there's a box in here now? Can I... ...do anything with this thing here? Somehow. And what's going on here? I need to see if I missed something here. Can I really not block like this? Doesn't seem like I can. Unfortunately, I cannot get up on the second one. Fuck. Ah! Come on! Ah! Shit. What if I'm holding a box? Drop. So that slides it across. What if I do this and jump up here? Oh my fucking god. You're kidding me. That's the solution. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. How the fuck that <laughs> Wow This puzzle was so fucking difficult I did not think about trying to block my I, I didn't think that would I would be high enough for that I was thinking there was so I I was convinced I had to let this box fly across and because it just so happens to break the connection when it flies over here, right? That I had to utilize that somehow. Fuck. Damn. Okay. I really need to... Try absolutely everything. I cannot get stuck in one mindset here. I tend to do that a lot. And it's really... Stopping me from exploring. Sorry, it's really pre preventing me from actually solving some of these puzzles. Okay. Did I get everything? I think I did. Let's move on. I'm so glad I figured that puzzle out. Yeah. Okay. This world is definitely kicking it up a notch compared to the first world. I mean, uh, sorry, I mean world A. So world B is way harder. Okay, here we go. This one has a lot of puzzles and two stars. Let's do it. You may 
wonder why I have created these labyrinths for you? Why you can reach eternity only through struggle? But have faith, for these trials serve the betterment of your kind. Here's where I'm conflicted. If my theory is correct, and I think it is, based on everything we've read so far, that the Earth is facing a catastrophic disaster, right? They're trying to save humanity by creating the extended life. They want to upload all kinds of stuff to the archive from the human race. You know, all kinds of videos, pictures, information, data, and even the consciousness of human beings. And the goal is, I believe, to upload this consciousness in the future, when the disaster has subsided, into the body of a robot. A physical robot on the surface of the Earth. And the reason I'm going through these trials is to prepare this AI to work correctly when it finally gets uploaded into one of these robots. So my struggle right now is... I kind of just want to do what Elohim tells me to. Because I want to end up in a body later on and keep living extended life. It seems to me that the serpent or the ghost in the machine here... I don't know what its purposes are, or sorry, what its agenda is. But I'm pretty sure that it's nefarious. It's trying to act against Elohim, right? So assuming that following... Elohim leads to extended life and what this whole thing was designed to do in the very beginning then why should I follow the serpent? Should I not just listen to Elohim's words? Unless and this is getting a little bit deep now and maybe a little bit uh, I don't know crazy but what if Elohim himself was never intended. This simulation has been running for God knows how long, right? Entropy is taking its toll on the hardware out in the real world and the world is glitching in here, which could cause numerous loopholes in the system or bugs that any AI in here could utilize if smart enough. Maybe someone, Milton maybe, somehow got access to the hidden words and was able to shift things around you know become god maybe he put elohim here to fuck with me you know elohim was never intended but the milton library assistant was intended maybe maybe the milton library assistant um was not always nefarious. It had a purpose once, right? In fact, at the very beginning of the game, it seemed to work as intended, right? It only uh, responded to object, uh, subject, syntax, whatever, and it was just an assistant trying to navigate or help people navigate the archive. That's all that was. But then suddenly, Milton started to act strangely, didn't he? He started to become more self-aware so, what the hell is going on? Is my question here, right? That is my struggle right now. That's where I'm at mentally with all this. Shit! I'm conflicted! I don't know who to trust! But I guess that's what the developers wanted, right? <laughs> okay. In the next episode, I'm gonna click on this computer and we're gonna learn some more. Hopefully get some answers. Until then, adios and have a fantastic day.